Hello, my soccer universe. Well, let's address the elephant in the room first. After six years, I've decided to create a new video intro sequence, one that is a little bit more representative of what I'm doing on my channel. I hope you like it. I may talk about it a little bit more in a future video. And with that, let's get back to the original video. I know it's been a while that I've been posting a non-unpacking video and that I've been posting regularly, but I've not been inactive. First off, unpacking. I got my last season ticket special jersey, which is basically a training shirt. Not sure what to make of it, but it was not worth a special unpacking video, I would say. I've also been preparing my files that I used and to create all these graphics that I put on during my review videos. But my main project has always been to convert this background into something a little bit more flexible. You see here that we are still on the Euro background. I want to now be able to just exchange the scarves a little bit more easy because for now I have just used regular pins like this and I pinned them into the drywall, meaning it leaves a whole lot of holes. Not something that I like to do. So I tried and you may be able to see and I might post this for later. I have tried to put a magnetic tape up there. Uh, however, the scarves are kind of thick and it's hard to find suitable magnets to be honest. And I'm not sure if this is the best way. So I came up with another idea that I'm going to document now. A. I bought plenty of these strips of cork of Amazon. They are thin enough that I think this can just wonderfully work that I can quickly pin and unpin scarves. So this is the first thing I'm going to do. Second thing is I have some spots that I always want to hang shirts. So these cork panels will probably go on the top and on the side here. But I have been thinking, you know, the shirts I also hang on pins. Maybe we can do something a little bit more professional. Let's come in here. I ordered some wall hooks that I will put on strategic locations. And so I have fixed spots where to hang the shirts, which is also something that I have been looking forward to. And lastly, what I want to achieve is, do you see this white expanse here? Yes, most of the time some shirts are hanging here, but when I don't want to hang any shirts, I'm really bothered by this. So I need to put something up. I'm sure the magnetic board for <laughs> the euros will go away. I want to experiment and see where this goes. I'm going to document this whole transformation process as a time-lapse video. So join me along for the process and let's hope I'm getting somewhere that I really, really like. Summer heat is going in, I'm running quite some sweat here, but yeah, it's all empty for now. It sounds even weird here. Flags are here, not sure when I use them. And all the national team scarves for now folded. I may use them somehow as well, but you know, I still have to think about that. But the next step or the next two steps are, and you know, I'm not sure if I'm going to document them because they will be not that interesting, is you see the magnetic tape up there. That one has to go. And if you probably look closer, but I'm afraid, or, you know, <laughs> happy that you cannot see it. I want to cover up all the holes now. So this is the next step before we go any deeper in getting maybe some corkboard and whatever up. So I'll do the dirty work now. This will have to dry before they move on further. So this will take a while. The wall is clean. I'll decide to wait for the evening because let's face it, it's just too hot and it's not fun to do it hot. So we do it now, finish it up probably in the evening. Now I have here the cork bands that I will put up there and I will also maybe try the hooks. I have to figure out how to best combine these two, but I should first do the hooks or just do everything on cork. That's what I have to decide and I have to see how it works.
nothing's ever so straightforward. It's still quite hot because I had to close the window, otherwise the bugs will be coming in. And yes, I think I have found now a good idea. I'm just not quite sure whether I will continue this way. The problem was when I tried to hang the Spain shirt on the cork, the cork is too soft and so the pin doesn't stay straight and will fall down, which is not what I want. So I have now put some hooks in the wall. And I think I like that the hooks are hidden behind the scarf up there. I'm not sure if I will keep the Austrian scarf. This is not just for show. It should be very flexible, everything. But then I have to think how I will do for when I hang jerseys on this side of the wall. And how I will continue here. But most likely I will just continue going straight over. And yeah, we'll do that. But I guess I will do that the next day new day new adventure overnight a few of those cork strips fell down so i had to nail them on there so each of the strips has now three nails in there to keep them up and now we continue exactly this way everything else still going as planned i just have to figure out now how will i put the hooks for the shirts here on the side how high will i put the hooks here for the second level of shirts and how many levels do i want to do so i will be a whole lot of hammering and a little bit of gluing of the strips but before we have to be glue we also have to hammer them in let's get started with that in the time lapse it was visible to see how many hangers or points for hanging shirts I actually put in now it's a total of 34 and yes sorry for the neighbors but you know I don't care there's one wall here and that's to the kids who actually you saw helped me and I really have to thank my older daughter she had a great idea to get this somewhat vertically in line horizontally they're not quite because i was eyeballing it yet but you know it doesn't need to be 100 perfect i kept another lusk scarf up there but i think for now i'm finished now i have to think how i will fill in this space but i really like that i have now multiple levels where i can hang shirts like for unpacking videos or if i want just wanting a couple of shirts i can hang them high i can hang middle i can hang them low i can them really really high to get as many shirts in as possible so really pleased with that so you know, I think I call it a day for now and we'll see each other on day three where maybe I'm playing around hanging some scarves up just for demonstration purposes. Okay, meanwhile, it's a week later already and I've been doing some things in between. The jerseys in the background are a little hint of what I've been doing, but there will be a video dropping your way relatively soon. But I decided to keep it up this way just to demonstrate what I can do with this new background. Now, for the euros i had it all with scarves and you know or i can do it all with shirts i still have not quite figured out what i do with this empty hole here but you know i actually like that it's not empty here i can put a spotlight on a shirt for instance for an unpacking video really love that or if i want to have some reference shirts i can still keep a background here and i can put some reference shirts here this way as well so i actually am quite excited about this possibility and yes i can always add some scarves uh, along the way i've added one more piece that is hidden here under the last logo i actually completed the cork line here so that's probably something to do you also see the cork board is showing a little bit through here where the shirts are but i actually don't mind that it actually frames it quite nicely too I will play around with this as the season goes along. One thing I definitely have to say is I also set up now my laptop that I can do a vertical video right here. So for a vertical video, I can really use now this middle section here, which is probably the Spain, the France and the England scarf to have a nice vertical video shot here as well and have already the file onto the laptop. So for easy editing as well. And now the last thing that remains and that I really want to get to is I have here a bunch of Austrian Bundesliga shirts. The Austrian Bundesliga is about to start on the weekend, so I will have to shoot a preview. Let's make an Austrian Bundesliga background out of this here. Let's see how this will work. And 
and there you go. I might have gone a little bit overboard by adding three Lusk jerseys on the background, but hey, let's do it this way. I actually really like it. I have a full jersey background here now with teams from the Austria Bundesliga that I have in my collection. Makes it quite colorful, flexible, everything nice. And yes, I decided to switch out the Milan scarf and get the Lusk scarf up there. I think it may also looks quite good. Only this corner here I still have to work on a little bit because that looks a little bit messy. But this concludes now the whole reconstruction of my background. I think overall it is a success. At least that's the way how I feel. Let me know what you think about it. And we'll see during the season how all of this works out. How many scarves I will put up. How often will I change. I will change definitely more often than I did in the past season. Where I think once around Christmas I changed out a few scarves. And I also like that I can hang the jerseys now on different levels. Which is also pretty cool. And yes. We still have this white hole here and I still need to think about that. What could I put there? But maybe I just leave it this way. Don't be so bothered because we also have some white holes here and they don't bother me one little bit. Any case, I'd be curious to hear your opinion on the whole reconstruction process. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Austrian Bundesliga season preview coming up next. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!